The internet exploded on April 8 when Cristiano Ronaldo received a red card for elbowing Ali Al Balayi during Al Nasser's match against Al Hilal in the Saudi Super Cup semi-final. At that moment I predicted he would likely face a two-game suspension for his clear use of excessive force against Al Balayi, especially considering Ronaldo's deliberate use of his right elbow while the ball was securely in his left hand, clearly outside the natural flow of play. Following the match, the Discipline and Ethics Committee launched an investigation into the incident, seeking Al Nasser's perspective. Surprisingly, Al Nasser argued that Ronaldo was competing for the ball as he attempted a quick throw-in. This contention is concerning. How can football professionals fail to grasp the distinction between competing and not competing for the ball? Let's clarify. Competing for the ball refers to players actively trying to win possession, such as challenging for aerial duels or engaging in tackles. Not competing for the ball, on the other hand, encompasses actions like kicking, punching or striking an opponent in retaliation, entirely unrelated to the game's natural flow. Now, if Ronaldo's elbow was intended to cause serious harm, it could be considered assault, resulting in a minimum four-game suspension. Al Nasser should acknowledge Ronaldo's mistake, rather than attempting to justify it as legitimate play, especially when he clearly held the ball in his left hand.